discussing the importance of rhythm guitar, Slayer guitarist Kerry King shared his thoughts on shredders, saying that their music tends to easily bore him as repetitive. He tells Total Guitar, I think a lot of the shredder type players, and I don't mean everybody, they're not very good songwriters. Players like Fire Malmsteen spend their time perfecting what they do only as far as leads. Ingui had a run where he did some good songs, but when it became just about how many notes he can fit in a millisecond. King added, don't get me wrong, he's an amazing player, but after three songs, I'm done. He'll just keep doing it faster on a different string. Rhythm guitar is where a song is constructed. If there's a song you like, it's because of that rhythm guitar. The lead stuff at the end of the day is just the icing. During the rest of the chat, King discussed hanging out with friends who aren't into metal, explaining how he still likes goofing around with guitar. When people come over and want to listen to music most people like, say Michael Jackson or something, I'll go pick up the guitar and learn the one Eddie Van Halen played on. I'll do stupid shit like that, he said. There's this song called, Push It, which got used in commercials and I think it's funny to put that on when friends are over, pick up a guitar and play along. Everyone in the house just dies laughing. For clarity, you can turn that into a metal song. Discussing his involvement with Megadeth during the band's early stages, Slayer guitarist Kerry King praised frontman Dave Mustaine's guitar skills, but still said that he can't figure out how anyone put up with Dave's character enough to stay in the band. He told Loudwire, I was one of the lucky people, and there's certainly no offense against Kirk Hammett. Kirk's a wonderful friend of mine, but I was lucky enough to see Metallica with Mustaine. And I say that because it's just a rare thing to be able to say that. I saw them play with Woodstock and I was so intrigued by Mustaine because he was just ripping on guitar and looking out that way somewhere. And I can't do that to this day. So I was just blown away at his guitar playing. And to find out, I think it was through BC Rich, cause we all played BC Rich back then, I found out that Dave was inquiring if I would play. He continued, at the end of the day, I thought, this is a gigantic learning situation. And I also thought people would see me and know me from Slayer. Cause, I mean, we only went to the Bay Area, we only got up there. So I think, if people saw me, it would at least make them think, Slayer, so I had Slayer's best intentions in mind. I didn't go and say, hey, I want to be in Megadeth. I don't know how anybody can be in Megadeth for more than a couple of hours, cause that guy's crazy. Asked if he had any bad experiences with Mustaine during his short time in the band back in 1984, King replied, he was cooler back then. I think there's been a lot of drugs and funny extracurriculars between now and then that helped shape who he is today. But it was good times back then, playing all the venues Slayer played on just, I don't know, playing different music. His stuff is definitely more, I wouldn't say intricate, cause we've got intricate parts too, but it's just, he writes riffs in a very different perspective than I, even after playing with him for a number of months. I'd still, I wouldn't do it. It's just not my style. In a recent interview, Slayer guitarist Kerry King was asked for his opinion of the Swedish occult rockers Ghost, who share management with Slayer and have toured with King's band in the past, he said. Dude, I love the imagery. I love it, I just hate the fucking music. I like them as people. You know, they've been on many tours with us. I just, I can't get into their music. And I tried. I wanna like them, and I can't. I got their CD from Brian Slagel from Metal Blade. It was when Gary Holt first started playing with us, and I picked up Gary. And I'm, like, Brian said this is awesome, man. So we put it in, going to practice. It wasn't awesome. It wasn't awesome for me. It wasn't awesome for Gary either. I'm, like, well, maybe the first song sucks. And we went to the next one. It's just not for me. I know Ghost is hugely popular and I'm very happy for their popularity. And, like I said, they're the nicest guys you'll ever meet. It's just not my music. And I've tried so hard. Since then a nameless school from Ghost responded to what Kerry King said, dismissing any bad blood over Kerry King comments, he said. I don't even think that what he said was negative. He just said that he didn't like the band, that he didn't like the music. And you know, we're not for everybody. We've never tried to please everybody, so I didn't even see the negative element in what he said. 
it doesn't change my opinion on Slayer. I've been a Slayer fan ever since I was a kid, and I still love several of their records with all my heart. For me, it wasn't changing anything, 